Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Um, apologies to Kevin, who got a personal box of 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. I had emailed him back, and I, I emailed him first, and I said, hey, do you want this uh, busted open live, or you want to send it to you sealed? He responded. I just, just didn't see it until now. We've had, we had a busy day today, too, Kevin, so I guess it kind of works out. Um, all right, well, good luck. I randomly picked box... Seven using my famous E Mini Mighty Mo method. It's not mine. It's been around for a while. Good luck to you. We've got an original 1969 card in there. Of course, all the modern cards paying tribute to that uh, 1969 set. The Otani hunt continues. We haven't seen an Otani in a little while. And I think none out of this particular case thus far. I don't think it's a per case, like a one per case sort of deal, but I think the odds make it so that it's it's just hard to find in general. There are some cases that don't have Otanis. They're very short printed. But there are still other, it's not just about Otani though, there are still other hits, uh, other variations that we can pull out of here that, that you know, depending on the player, could pay for the, uh, could pay for the box. Or be at least the value of the box. TD's rooting for you here in the chat on the YouTube stream. TD's saying, Otani, this box shall have it, he says. Prayer hands. Well, that'd be nice. That'd be a nice nice box. Have not seen an Otani auto. We must have, I think we've probably gone through maybe a dozen of these. Dozens of these. Probably three or four cases. Kind of personal box at a time. We did a one case with a random division break. No Otani autographs. Those are also very hard to hit. Tice says good luck as well. I know Kevin is probably asleep by now. He's in. He's on the East Coast, but better late than never, Kevin. Now, Kevin, I'm sure you know. You've heard heard me say this probably a zillion times, but. Go to CardboardConnection.com, look up 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball, click the uh, checklist tab, scroll down a little bit, there'll be another link with variations. You click that variation link, that'll, that'll give you all sorts of cool information. So be sure to look at the backs of the cards. There'll also be, you know what, something I should be doing, but I have just because it makes the unboxing that much longer, but... Probably good to look at the backs of the cards too for the uh, magenta back variations, which, which I think are like that's a one out of every six hundred and ninety-one packs. That magenta back right there. So I mean, the likelihood of us finding that is pretty slim. But I could just do this really quick, just to look, and I don't. I think I see one. They're, they all have the peach or the different puzzle piece backgrounds on the back of the... Uh, I should have been doing this for the other other boxes, but... Oh, look at this! Little mini. Those minis... Grab this again. Those minis don't happen very often either. One out of every 262. One out of every 262 packs. So that's mini Addison Russell. Baby Addison Russell. And it's number two 100. Like it's 55 out of 100. There you go. Nice start. All right, now let's breeze through these. Let's see what we got here. We got the Chrome Josh Donaldson. We're also going to look at those. Sometimes there's those error variations. Josh Donaldson Chrome is 15 out of 9.99. That 
was definitely not Otani. <laughs> Just looking at the bottom because a lot of times that's where a lot of variations are going to be. Either the color swap, the nickname variation, all be down there. So I look, at, I see angels, then my eye goes up, and I'm like, oh, it's definitely not Otani. That's Albert, Albert Pujols, who's coming into camp healthy for the first time in like ages, I think. So a lot of people speculating that he may be uh, in due for a nice season. Fantasy owners, maybe. Late round pickup. Could be a surprise. Could be worth a flyer. Other variations I'm spotting kind of immediately. Nice Mike Trout. Hmm. Oh, there's a black border coming up. Let's see what else we have here. Now a lot of these base cards you'll note. You'll know they're new, you'll know for sure because the numbers at the end will be 65. Those will indicate uh, base cards. The short, the base card short prints will be card not 401 to whatever, 401 and up, I think to 500 or something like that. So that's how you'll know. These are about one out of every 52 packs. So the mini is far more rare, but the black borders are also relatively rare too. I guess with what, how many, how many box packs are in per every box? 12? <laughs> I don't remember. Ooh, what is that? Postage stamp? Wow. I have not seen one of those. We've opened dozens of boxes. 1969 U.S. postage stamp out of 50. Eight out of 50. And with Steve Carlton there too. Cardinal Steel of Carlton. Nice. An original stamp from 1969. Let's see. Let's see what the odds are in that. It, they, there can't be that many of these. Wow. U.S. 1969 U.S. postage stamp relic, which will be right above my thumb right here. One out of every 3,524 packs. Wow. That's cool. And they've got this right here, first man on the moon, if you believe in that sort of thing, if you actually believe we went to the moon. All right, let's see what we finish off with. If there's no Tani here, it'd be pretty much greatest box ever. No, but wow, that is great. Fantastic. Well, well, well worth the wait, Kevin. Thanks very much. Let's see what's in this original right here. Maybe an autograph from 1969. It's, uh, no, it's Ron Reed with the 50th anniversary stamp right there. Well, Mr. Kevin Edwards, thank you very much for getting into this break, sir. Really appreciate it, or buying in this personal box, that is. You got a really nice one. Thanks. We'll see you next time. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Bye-bye.